Lactation. This is more commonly known as breastfeeding. So in this video, we're focusing just on the hormones and on the benefits of lactation or breastfeeding. This is all part of Leaving Cert Biology and it's just to help you rapidly revise a key feature of that chapter, human reproduction. So lactation is the secretion of milk from the mammary glands. So the milk is produced in the mammary glands of the female breast. And the production of this milk is all controlled by this hormone prolactin, which is secreted by the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland is easy to identify. It has two lobes like little peas. Breast milk production relies on prolactin, but prolactin secretion is inhibited during pregnancy by high levels of progesterone mainly, but also estrogen. And these are two hormones that are produced by the placenta so during pregnancy, the placenta is producing these hormones and these inhibit prolactin secretion. Progesterone and estrogen levels will drop when the baby is born because the placenta is no longer producing these hormones. And this allows prolactin to be secreted by the pituitary gland and this stimulates the production of milk in those mammary glands in the female breast. Levels of progesterone and oestrogen are high during pregnancy because the placenta is producing these two hormones. When the levels of progesterone and oestrogen are high, they inhibit the secretion of prolactin by the pituitary gland. Without prolactin, there is no production of milk by the mammary glands in the breast. This all changes when the woman gives birth. Because the placenta is no longer producing progesterone and oestrogen, the levels of these two hormones drop significantly. The secretion of prolactin by the pituitary gland is no longer inhibited and so levels of prolactin rise and this stimulates the production of milk in the mammary glands of the breast. The production of breast milk is all down to that hormone prolactin which is secreted by the pituitary gland and as long as the baby suckles on the breast it will stimulate the production of prolactin. A really important point and something that was examined previously was that the baby suckling on the breast stimulates the production of prolactin. So the more the baby suckles, the more prolactin that's secreted, therefore the more milk that's produced and that's the basis of using breast pumps. In addition to prolactin, there is another hormone that does play a role, not in the production of milk, but in the letdown or the release of the milk from the nipple. That's oxytocin. It's secreted by the pituitary gland and it allows for the milk to be released from the nipple. And you'll remember that it stimulates uterine contractions too. So when we consider the process of lactation, we know that there's two hormones involved, but we're going to detail their role explicitly. Prolactin is responsible for the production of the milk in the mammary glands. Oxytocin is responsible for the release of the milk, both secreted from the pituitary gland. So just remember, prolactin is produced in the pituitary gland and also secreted by the pituitary gland. And then we have oxytocin. And here's a new piece of information. Oxytocin is produced in the hypothalamus, but we only have to know it's secreted by the pituitary gland. So don't worry where it's produced, just state oxytocin is secreted by the pituitary gland. The benefits of breastfeeding often examined, so know a few. Well, breast milk is nutritionally balanced and it's also at the correct temperature for the baby. It's also a source of passive immunity because in the breast milk, the baby would receive antibodies from the mother and breastfeeding helps the woman's uterus to return to normal size more quickly. So they were three straightforward examples, but there are lots of studies on breastfeeding and it's said to be linked with preventing obesity. Breastfeeding is also said to reduce the risk of breast and ovarian cancers. And it's also stated to reduce the risk of food allergies in babies when older. All of that from the HSE website, so you can check that out. So that concludes lactation or breastfeeding, a little snippet of revision. So always use your textbook and do the past papers. I would revise the stages of birth and I'd also look at a disorder of the menstrual cycle. Remember, always use your textbook and break big topics down into sections. Good luck.